APV. I've never seen this brand of escalator before. And now in two Harrods, the department store with really good taste. My camera's not that very good memory. Not not the good memory, just quality. I'm my camera. I was hoping this would be smooth, but it's not. I'll just edit myself out because there's so many mirrors in here. I'll just edit those bits so that they are... I just change the contrast so people can't see me. This is the escalator. And it's got the Orenstein and Copper logo. But that logo is actually covered up. People do not know how to use an escalator. has 11 lifts, one set of six sympathetically modernised Otis lifts, two sets each with two unsympathetically modernised Marriott Scots, and a generic where there's only one lift. The problem with this lift is that the map actually doesn't tell you how many lifts there are and all the other lifts are in sets of at least three, so people think there are going to be four lifts here and there's only one. And despite being the boshest department store in the country, this place still has Dewhurst. You can take this down. Yeah. 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 It goes to every door, except for the sixth door, which is not disabled, accessible everywhere. Oh, the exception like this area where there are steps inside the door. Up. And it's going to the other so we're going to Top floor. And Doors closing. The problem with this lift is that there's only one lift. People think there are going to be three floor. lifts, but there's actually Doors only one. Doors opening. Lift going down. Doors closing. At least it has fast doors close. Uh, you push the button and it exits the doors close. Second floor, doors opening, lift going down, doors closing. If you 
push one of the floor buttons, it acts as a door's close button. First floor, doors opening. Lift going down. Doors closing. It's just a generic, which is not the sort of lift you'd expect somewhere like Harrods. Now to the horribly modernised Marriott Scots. Slow doors. These go down. These come down. No, that won't work well. This is is going slow. There's like a beeping noise from a security error. The security keeps making errors. Security system here. It's very secure because the stuff is expensive. Why is this having to put every blooming floor? Let's look at the old stuff. If you look up there, there's actually what this looks like. It's some sort of old shutter gating system. I really cannot tell how it would have worked. Maybe, maybe it's just something you pull down to close the lift. Annoyingly, they've replaced the door motors and they are rubbish. Uh, it's like it answered the call and... Oh, it's very... So, this is a, the, none, not even the indicators work. I lifted it to the first floor. This is the first floor and it's not here. This is not very good. Um, ah, this lift's working and it is empty, but it's got Dewhurst. Uh, fourth floor. It's got Dewhurst panels. Luckily, it hasn't got. Even, I haven't seen Walrath before, but then. The door motors are DC and they're not actually that good. Now to the really nice Otis's. The old buttons. The buttons are still original, but the pretzel has been replaced. These lifts are actually unnecessarily fast. They're originally three meters per second. Now they go up four meters per second. Up. Nice indicator. Otis, but they've cut a hole for the new thing. Okay. Doors closing. Doors opening. Doors closing. They used to have. Used to be able to see out there. That is emergency Doors stock, which as you can see is broken. That is that Doors is the speed. Closing. You slow means puts it onto inspection speed. I don't want. And that is start, Doors close, closing. off, open. That, that's basically the door Doors controls, closing. but they're fixed in place because that turns the relay logic off. Micro switch, light switch, micro switch is basically the manual control of whether it goes up and down. Light switch, that switches the light, but it's broken, of course. And reversal, that just reverses the direction of the lift. And this is basically operator controls, because often the relay controls, it sometimes 
they used to turn the relay controls off and run operator controls like they originally did, but they no longer do that now. And now we're in the Marriott Scots again. But we're in a different type of Marriott Scots. These go all the way down to the basement. The Marriott Scots are actually nice and fast. These lifts aren't that popular. These are the least popular lifts, so they can go. This is the lift in Zara's flagship, and it has you, her. Maybe the pass code is their founding date. Closing. I guess that might be 1881. I don't. I, I tried it, but it didn't work. So around. They put crown lift sticker over specialist lift services, Door. rivalries of generic lift companies. I can't tell what this it is. It's in the cost. actually quite good. I've never heard of this company before. It might not I might even be a non-generic lift company. <laughs> Probably is generic though. The voice speaks with a foreign accent. The lift panels are never so it's a bit difficult to film. Lift's voice is with some sort of Italian, some uh, Croatian accent. I don't want to use a silly pedestrian crossing when I can go through the subway. London Underground in public subway. And now into Harvey Nichols. The music is too loud. All the lifts here are generics from Axis Lifts, the same company that maintains the lift in Windsor Central Station, where the alarm keeps going off. <laughs> Excuse me. Dewhurst. And this isn't like on a little side lift that's not very good, this is on their main lift. At least I've got colour changing Dewhurst, it was red for down, green for up. They've got like the colour in Dewhurst, but both of them are below ground level. Which is a bit concerning. Elevators. This is Harvey Nichols. Are you serious? You've got a generic. At least in Howard's head, they had um, two, uh, four Marriott Scots, six Otis's, and one generic. Here they have, here, here are all the lifts are generics. 
and now to the express generic lift that goes down to the ground floor. It's up to the fourth floor series. Maybe it's dropping This elevator is the worst elevator company in the world. Why did you have to get all of your lips? I don't understand why Harvey Nichols has to get all the lifts from Axis Elevator. All they did was just lock off the intermediate floors. And now to our first hotel, which is the Mandarin Oriental. This is the lift in Harvey Nichols. Tell me to go over to that one. Got a nice old fashioned style indicator. This is not very fast, it's got Otis buttons. I think it's an Otis Gen 2 designed to look like an older lift. Yeah, this, this is an Otis Gen 2 designed to look like an older lift. And long way down. I get vertigo but I'm not scared of it. It's not really it's not even a really unpleasant feeling. Definitely not pleasant though. This is the dome at the top of the stairs. This is the top floor. I think the other lift. This is an Otis Gen 2. Only has a china that's going down. Now to the other Gen 2. Another noisy Otis Gen 2. Four 
lights broken. And now over to the Intercontinental. This is the first Intercontinental. <laughs> Only goes between ground and basement. I can't tell what this lift is. It's definitely some sort of MRL. Basement. And that is a small motor which is in the lift episode. Then the alarm went off, so I went over to the Four Seasons Hotel which has an awesome Mitsubishi lift. And the lifts here are Mitsubishi lifts. Let's go all the way up to the top. This is a Mitsubishi lift. Look, they've got like a 3D spinning triangle arrow thing. It's a Mitsubishi. Much better than the generic at the Intercontinental, the Mitsubishi at the Four Seasons. Trying. Tenth floor. Going down. And that is the view. Right, it's a bit blurry. And which one of the so zero and one are not guest floor and are not guest floor and ten is not guest floor. It's a Mitsubishi. And now over to the Hilton Park Lane, which has awesome destination dispatch lifts, where the floor is selected before getting in the lift. The Hilton, they have destination dispatch. I'm going to go to Ballroom. Which lift? I don't understand. How do I know which lift to go in? B. Ah. Destination dispatch lift. Next up, one. First floor. Yes, they've replaced the voice. The voice used to be horrible in these days. That is supply. It will supply man and man and them in that brain. Why should we have to do this? And so. See if you move away. If I go to basement, let's see. Let's. Floor is being served. Basement. Basement. <laughs> that you can really feel the G. I'm going to go. Please enter destination floor. Oh, I pushed the decision. Floor L. Proceed to car. Hey. That is That's actually awesome. the Otis American voice. It's a horrible voice. It's a horrid voice, the Otis American accent lift voice. I really don't like that voice. Let's... <laughs> D. I mean, like... Oh, I'm getting a bit impatient. D. 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 Just saying D. D. What was what what's this it doing? D. Click. 
close the doors. The button wasn't working. I'm going to go and call the lift to go to another one of the important floors. Hilton. And this building's 28. Look, so what if I put in 81, 29? Not 20, floor 29 doesn't exist. 30. Oh. Access denied because it's a private floor. So let's try floor 20. See if lift A. Going up to this is the ground floor. What about 20? I push 20. Second floor. I'm gonna go out and try and try again. 20. C to lift B. I'm going to a random floor. This is the twentieth floor. Wow, you can really feel the G force. It's going really fast. I think this is probably something like twentieth. Five meters per second, which is the fastest lift I've ever been in. I wasn't even sure it was possible to get a five meters per second lift. No. Oh yeah, I am at the 20th floor and I put 20. And now let's go to the top floor. 28. Having a play around with the destination dispatch lift. You have to select what floor using the keypad. L is the exit, and or you, B is basement, L is exit, or you just put in a number. And now over to the Dorchester, which has some generics. I think they might have originally been Marriott Scott. Do you, uh, so that's not really a very good sign. So now, into our first lift. It has Dewhurst, and it automatically closes its door. And there's a picture of a castle that has its branding, but no name. That's lift of locked. <laughs> this lift has DC. It's gone up to the fifth floor. Andy. Sorry, hi. Andy. Uh, I'm sorry. Don't be with Mr. Hamid. Selfridges. Oh, it's gone all fuzzy. Why is it all fuzzy? It's so annoying. I'm going to go in here. Selfridges has a photography hostile policy in the main shop, but the staff don't have adequate communication skills to express that. One of them followed me around saying, you know that thing you were just doing there? Don't do it. Like a Peckham drug dealer for two minutes, and I couldn't understand him. 
My mum used to work at Selfridges and quit. I think it was because of rude colleagues. The lifts at Selfridges are old Otis's which have been horribly modernised by generic. The old interior is now in the Museum of London. The section of Selfridges where we're allowed to film. originally had Otis lifts but now they've been modernised and they're horrid. They're just stupid generic. Round the back of Selfridges, I found an old express lift. It doesn't work. And now into John Lewis. The entrance where I came in leads into an old 60s part. This part of John Lewis is all grotty and it's a world away from the main sh Next to the roof garden, there is an unidentified lift, but it wasn't working. And now on to the main lifts, which is some rather unusual cone lifts. This person looks like a Mitsubishi. <laughs> This lift might be a Mitsubishi. No, it's a cone. We're going to going down. Ground. This is the fast cone lift. What? What's that symbol? Three and two are some sort of jumbled up symbol. The department store that owns this flagship has gone bankrupt. But it's still open. Look. BHS often have old Otis's with the black round buttons that stick out from them. What sort of lifts do you think they will have in the BBC? I'm thinking Evans Gen 2's. They will probably, I'm thinking they'll have like a cheap version of something quite good. And the, and it looks like this is the building that would have Otis's, so I think they'll have Evans Gen 2's. I can't tell what sort of these lifts are. They're in a staff only area. And now on to the Langham Hotel. Let's go. Door's closing. Only goes to one. It's got a picture of what there is on that floor, and there's a spa on this floor. I like how they said it has proper Muzak. Door's closing. It's weird because the picture hasn't changed to whatever it is, the lower ground. Not locked. 
Oh, sorry. Down, 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 down